Okay, so my last little thoughts on um, the bracelet link. Um, I think that uh, as long as you keep your wire ends tucked, right, so nothing snaggy, you want to keep your eyes as kind of tight and small as possible, you know, and um, you want to make sure that you're not having any neckiness. So when I kind of bend it this way, it's solid. You don't, it really doesn't have, um, it doesn't make a bendy joint there. Okay. Should be successful. So um, here, if I were thinking of production with this, a lot of times um, what people do, they will put, string their pattern of beads on their wire. Let's say I want had, uh, this is kind of a rondelle shape in terms of beads. Maybe I would flank it with um, a bead called a hishi, which is kind of like a flattened, thick, jump ring, flat, disky kind of bead on either side. And then I would have my wrap. This is a whole, uh, this approach is often called a gallery wrap. So for my own um, collections, I have a little cluster of beads. But, you know, single beads are beautiful. If you wanted to do it in stone beads, you can, oh, and your holes are too um, small, you can open it up with a diamond-dusted kind of bead reamer. Uh, there's a, actually a tool similar to that. I'm looking, I'm looking, excuse me, at the pan away for a second. And I think you, everybody got this little box of tools here. There is a diamond-dusted, and you can open up your, sometimes you can open up your beads. It really depends on how you you buy your beads and your quality of beads. It's easy to break a stone bead, but you can kind of ream that bead open a little bit. You would probably want to put a little little spit on it. You don't want to do it dry. It's harder on your, your tool. Okay, so you can kind of work your beads open. Um... You know, when you find a sweet bead that works for your stuff, man, that's a great thing. But very often we get frustrated because our beads holes are forever too small. So diamond dusted tools work on stone beads. But otherwise, look for a bead that you can thread onto your wire easily. Okay. So I think what I was starting to say is that people kind of figure out the math of their bracelet and they do their whole cluster and they figure out, you figure out how much you average per link in metal. So you have the this length and the length of the eye and the length of the three coils, right? And then you have the other side. So you'd probably have a link for each link you're probably using about two and a half inches so you create your beads on a piece of wire so if you you know you have to do the math but um, you know if you know it's going to be a 10 link bracelet you can figure out how much that is and put all your beads on your wire and that's kind of nice because then you can travel with it. You don't have to travel with your bead jars and possibly still be, uh, spill beads. So um, that can be a really good time advantage. Okay. And so then you just kind of add the beads as you, you work. It's all on the base strand. Okay. All right, so try and get to a f at least five and a half. If you get smaller, maybe you can make a pair of earrings. Maybe you can figure out something, designing something special for your linkage. All right, let's see what you all come up with. Thank you. Bye.